Hi there, Doug Stimler with IT Creations. Today we'll be taking a look at the Dell EMC PowerEdge R440 server, a 1U powerhouse for HPC, web tech, and scale-out infrastructure. Once again, Dell has outperformed and over-delivered with this platform. Yes, it is only 1U, but there's a lot to work with, and it's highly adaptable. Let's begin. What's new and improved on the Dell EMC R440? Well, for one, it supports four more memory slots than the previous generation R430, management features and security have also been updated, and it now supports NVMe SSDs. The new Intel scalable processors also provide more cores, faster throughput, more memory, and supports faster memory. Depending on your workload, you can choose from Intel scalable processors with four to 22 cores. They all use the same sockets, so you can choose from a wide range spanning bronze to platinum. However, I did notice all the listed processor options have only two UltraPath interconnects, as opposed to the high-performance gold and platinum processors, which support up to three UltraPath interconnects. So those high-end processors may be a little overkill on this system, but still you could. Thinking about purchasing one of these? For a limited time, you can save up to $250 off IT Creations list price on a system valued at $2,500 or more. Click this link to see pricing on the R440, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. Now let's look at that storage configuration. The Dell EMC R440 supports similar drive configurations compared to the older generation PowerEdge R430. This particular setup has four 3.5-inch hot plug drive bays up front with two slots fitted with one terabyte Dell drives, a single rank 8 gigabyte registered DIMM module capable of speeds of 2666 megahertz, a bronze Intel 3104 CPU, and a single cabled 450 watt power supply. Of course, you have many other options for redundant hot plug power supplies, more processors, more memory, and more storage. The system supports SAS, SATA, and Nearline SAS HDD or SSD drives, and new on this platform, NVMe SSDs. In addition to the four 3.5-inch drive bay configuration, there's also a 10-bay 2.5-inch chassis version. The 10-bay system can also be set up with four NVMe SSDs for a maximum storage capacity of 48 terabytes. The 4-bay 3.5-inch chassis supports a maximum capacity of 40 terabytes using 10 terabyte 3.5-inch HDDs or SSDs. There's also an 8-bay version that supports an optional optical storage device and VGA port. And if you need all that upfront storage and don't want to sacrifice any storage drives for the OS, then you can install a Boot Optimized Storage Solution, or BOSS. The BOSS is a PCIe card that features two M.2 storage sticks, which can operate in RAID 1 mirror mode for boot up failsafe. An optional internal dual SD card module provides failsafe hypervisor support with two cards, which can also be used in mirror mode. On the other side of the module is a V-Flash card for data and disk images that can be accessed by iDRAC. Two more 2.5-inch drives can also be installed in an optional rear-mounted drive cage, but that will leave you with a single PCI slot, not counting the dedicated internal slot for a PERC controller. Our configuration relies on the integrated S140 controller with software RAID capabilities for the front-mounted hard drives. But there are more options for both internal and external storage controllers that offer more RAID options, support for more storage, and faster data transfer rates. New Perk 10 controllers include the H740P providing more cache at 8 gigabytes compared to the H730P with only 2 gigabyte cache. That said, the H730P is still a great option for the platform and offers 2 gigs cache to back up storage in the event of a power failure. A new and improved Perk H840 provides support for external storage devices with 8 external ports and 12 gigabit per second SAS support for up to 240 external drives. The system also features an enhanced cyber resilient architecture, which sounds like something out of a William Gibson novel. It includes cryptographically signed firmware packages and secure boot, server lockdown to prevent malicious or unauthorized changes, and system erase, which allows you to quickly and securely wipe all data from storage devices and memory, quite handy for redeployment or retirement. The integrated Dell Remote Access Controller, or iDRAC, has also been updated to version 9.0, and the OpenManage mobile app has received an update to version 2.0. The OpenManage mobile app for at server management now uses Bluetooth, replacing the QuickSync bezel on the Gen 13 models, which used near field communications. On this system, QuickSync 2.0 is optional, but can be installed post purchase in the left hand server ear. QuickSync is also now compatible with both Android and iOS smartphones and tablets. The security bezel included with the system includes a key and lock, but you can also get it with a display panel to review server status without having to remove the bezel. While the R440 supports more memory slots at 16 compared to 12 on the R430, the memory distribution is very similar. You still get access to most of your memory slots with just a single processor. 10 slots are assigned to CPU1, and with the addition of CPU2, six more slots are active for a total of 16 memory slots. With two CPUs, the system will support a maximum of 512 gigabytes of memory. The new Xeon processors support more memory channels and faster memory at up to 2666 megahertz. 
The Bronze processor we have here only supports memory speeds of up to 2333 megahertz. So if you want faster memory speed of 2666 megahertz, you will need to choose a compatible processor. The Dell EMC PowerEdge R440 server is an adaptable and expandable mid-range server that offers more options and substantially improved performance over the R430. It supports more storage and memory and many of the advanced features commonplace on the new Gen 14 servers, including upgraded processors, security, Gen 10 HD RAID controllers, and support for more NVMe storage devices. For more information about the new Gen 14 Dell servers, check out our last review of the R740 XD. We got a little long-winded on that one, but there was a lot to cover. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you liked this video, and if you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. I'm Doug Stumann with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.